To complete the initial algebra steps for logarithmic differentiation, we first start by rewriting the function as a y equals. Um, the other thing that I would do with this step is change any roots to powers that I see. So we have a 5 um, square root of x in the bottom, so I'm going to change that to x to the 1 half power. Other than that, we just copy it over here. And uh, the next step, once we have y equals, we take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of y equals the natural log of this complicated right-hand side. And then we look and see what the outermost um, thing is. And we see that um, the outermost thing for this right-hand side is that power of 3. And so the first thing we're going to be doing is bringing that power down. So we have uh, the natural log of y again on the left-hand side, and we bring that power down um, front. And that helps us a little bit because now we at least have, um, we don't have to have those parentheses raised to the power there. So we can drop the parentheses and we've got um, just the fraction. So we've made some progress. So the next thing we see here on the right hand side is the fact that we have a, um, a quotient. And so we want to take the division there and change it to um, subtraction. So the thing we've got to be careful about here is we've got that 3 that's multiplied by everything that follows it. And so right now the only thing that follows it is a single logarithm. But um, when we start um, breaking this up so that we have the the division becomes subtraction, we're going to have multiple terms. And so we're going to have to have the parentheses there. So we have the natural log of the top, which is natural log of x inside. And then we subtract from it the natural log of the bottom. And that bottom actually has three terms in it. So now we have to um, keep breaking this apart. Uh, we've got that 3 that um, is outside that we'll eventually need to distribute, but really we've got more breaking up to do. We've gotten the subtraction into play because we have dealt with the division, but we have um, from the bottom three terms there that are multiplied, and so we need to break up those three multiplied terms. So I'm still going to leave the 3 out front um, with the grouping symbol there. There's nothing more that we need to do to, um, to break up the nested natural log there. But what we can do then is we have this um, subtraction of the natural log of the product of three different things. And you know, I'm going to do this in one step instead of two here. I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative sign through each factor or each term that we get um, from the different factors. So I'm going to say minus the natural log of five and then minus the natural log of x to the 1 half, and minus the natural log of x to the 4th plus 8 uh, raised to the 6th power. Technically speaking, I would have minus and then parentheses uh, three things added together, but I'm taking those three things that are added together and going ahead and distributing that minus sign across so that I have one less step to write. So I still do have this 3 out front that perhaps I would like to go ahead and distribute now that I have broken up um, into sums and differences as much as possible. So I've got 3 natural log of natural log of x minus 3 natural log of 5 minus 3 natural log of x to the 1 half minus 3 natural log of x to the 4th plus 8 raised to the 6th power. So now I no longer have parentheses, and the very last step that I would do to um, simplify this for the derivative would be um, to bring powers down. So I have the natural log of y is equal to the 3, and then the nested natural log. No power there, um, and the next term doesn't have one either. Um, but then this next one does. We have uh, the 3 times the natural log of x to the 1 half. So really when I bring down that 1 half power, I would have 3 times a half. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that as 3 halves uh, times the natural log of x. And then the last term has the power of 6. So I do have that multiple 3 that's sitting there. And when I bring the 6 down front, I'd have the 3 times the 6 would be minus 18. And then I've got the natural log of x to the 4th plus 8. 
And that's as far as we can go. In calculus, we do the derivative, but as far as the algebra goes, um, that's as far as we go. Um, we've got uh, this looks maybe easier, maybe more difficult. Other common things that uh, people mess up are this plus sign that's right here. We can't break up that logarithm anymore. Um, we can break up things that are multiplied or divided, but we cannot further break up any sums or differences that are inside logarithms. So we're just stuck with that. And so we don't have any other algebra that we can do to make this simpler. Um, and we're prepared at this point then for the derivative.